How did it folks? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003. It's time for the, uh, whatever you want to call it, 350, the second race at Infineon Raceway of 2005. Um, it's not the Dodge St. Martin 350, I'll tell you that. Holy cow, man. The gigantic win at Talladega gave us our 10th win of 2005 and our 67th win overall. Makes us only two spots away from passing Jeff Gordon's win total. And currently, um, Gordon has the most wins in the series. So, Martin Martin's still your points leader, but we've moved up to fifth in the points. I mean, surprisingly or not. I mean, it's surprising. We've moved up to fifth in the points, but we're only 314 behind. We have to win and win a lot. Holy cow. Here is the final races. You got Infineon, Martinsville, Lowe's Motor Speedway, Rockingham, Texas Roval, Texas Oval, and Homestead. I'll tell you what, man. I am confident about Infineon Raceway. If you go back there into the summertime, we wrecked out in the, the Turn 11 uh, carousel. We're going back to the road course. I'm going to run uh, the 2001 Sicko, uh, Sicko Super Guard car. We're going to run that. Let's go back to California. All right, folks. So we qualified fourth for this road course uh, return up here in Sonoma, California. Oh, my goodness. Now, I don't know what the, st the, the race sponsor is, but it's not the Dodge St. Mark 350. I'll tell you that. Uh, wow. This is going to be uh, this is gonna be interesting, guys. This is the second to final road course of the year. We still got one more left, the Texas Roval. That's going to be a, um, oh, my God. That is a demolition derby race, and it is a ton of fun. Look, man, we need to win this race. We need to win this race. We have nothing to lose. We gotta go out there and we gotta lead laps and we gotta try to lead the most so we can get even more bonus points. We're at 314 points behind your points leader, Mark Martin. It's not over. Keep digging. Let's go ahead and sit it down trackside here at Infineon Raceway. Car Winston Cup Racing is in the Sonoma Valley today. MRN is live with flag-to-flag -flag coverage of today's Dodge Save Mart 350 from the Infineon Raceway. It always makes it interesting to watch these drivers have to turn left and right. Well, these guys only run on road courses twice a year, which means they don't spend much time tuning for them. There is a good chance we'll see a new face in victory lane at the end of this one. Dick Pacer really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. Jeff Burton has got to be happy about qualifying so well this week. Man, let me tell you, I got to watch him make this qualifying run, and he was a very happy man when he got out of that car. Maybe this will turn this string of bad starts around. In 1989, Bobby Hamilton got his first start in NASCAR as part of a production for a stock car racing movie. Well, that's one heck of a way to break onto the circuit. Wasn't too long before he was racing full-time. He won Rookie of the Year honors in 1991. Engines are fired here in Sonoma, California. Rusty Walsh, your pole sitter, alongside Dale Jarrett. And there's Mark Martin right there in about the, what, row four. Yeah, I think the eighth place spot. Let me tell you, man, this is, look, I, I don't even care what the six car does right now. We have to win this race. That's the mentality I have right now. Go out there, fight for it, try to win this race. Don't be too aggressive, but be aggressive enough to try to win it, man. Look, it's very apparent that Mark Martin has a tremendous points lead, 314 points. That is a tremendous amount, but I'm confident something's going to happen to that six car, and we're going to catch that break that we need. And we just got to go out here and just keep winning, man. We got to keep winning. Here we go. Green flag out here in California. The final stop on the West Coast. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is gonna get crazy this is gonna get crazy gotta give oh big shot to the 30 car is gonna move us off to the racetrack oh my god wow jeff green just pushes us off the racetrack okay 
Okay. I, I see you, number 30. I see you. Okay. I, I see you, number 30. I, I, I got your number now. Freaking number 30 car just pushes us off the track. Jeff Green, man. Are you kidding me? Like, are you, are you kidding me? Sorry, Robbie Gordon. I want to go up there and spin that 30 car out now. Heck, I'll use him for a caution. I don't care. He wants to sit there and run us off the racetrack. I don't even care, man. Uh, get, let me go find that 30 car. I'll put him in the fence. I don't care. Oh, sorry, Jeff Purvis. Car's really hard to turn there in that corner. Oh, Nelly. Keep digging. All right, we're already back up to ninth, but... Mark Martin's just up there. I want to lead some laps, though, today. But looks like we're not going to be able to do that. I want to go find that 30 car. Come here, buddy. Where are you, number 30? You bozo. Running me off the racetrack. I I'm about to take that 30 car out, dude. I I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. You're going to run me off the racetrack on the initial start of the race. I'm sorry. You're about to get spun out, bud. I, I don't even care. If it brings out a yellow or not, I don't even care. Freaking bozo. That's what I think about you, number 30. I was actually trying to spin him out there, but the car was going so slow I couldn't spin him out. So I'll just skid mark his car for now. And if he's around me in the later portion of the race, I'll spin him out to get a caution. I don't care if I'm leading or not. Meanwhile, <laughs> I got Mark Martin there. I tried to spin that 30 car out, but man, it was too slow. Uh, I ain't gonna sit there and just stay behind him all day. I go ahead and skin Mark his side. Let him know I ain't too happy. Anyways, we're chasing down Mark Martin. Right there, man. We need to pass that six car, but you're a race leader. Who the heck is leading this race? I freaking want to know. Once we get to a, like a, like a straight portion of the track, we'll be able to get an update because when you pause the game, the car won't turn. Uh, Jarrett's out front, so if Jarrett wins, that's okay. That is okay, but I want to win, man. I want to win, man. I freaking want to win. Come on, got to get a good run on the six car. Don't rough him up. Just a little bit of a bump, something, maybe. Who knows? There we go. Opportunity here. There we go. Good pass. There we go. Good, clean, respectable gentleman pass right there. Now we're back into the top five. Now every point or every position in front of Mar uh, Mark Martin is three points. So right now we have three points on him. We need to get 314. Uh, that is a tremendous amount of points. But, you know, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hit you. One, two, three. Got to be careful with the left front. Remember, last time we were here in the summer, in this same identical turn, well, we made contact with, uh, what was his, what's his face, Todd Bodine, and uh, we made some, uh, made some contact, and it took our car quickly out of contention as it, it blew the engine. So you got to be careful with it. Very aggressive uphill through turns one and two, or actually make it turns three and four. No, is what is it? No, it's two and three. Excuse me. There's so many freaking windy turns. Oh, I just said windy turns. I think windy turns are uh, turns around this whole racetrack. Oh my god, man, this car's it's getting it's getting pretty tight now. I can't really uh, steer it like I want to. It's not cutting as best. But hey, I tell you what, we're running up front. We're doing what we have to do, and that's all that matters. We're doing what we have to do. Stay ahead of Mark Martin. Keep digging. I just hope something happens in the six car right now. We need we need an engine failure, something. Him get spun out. We need a caution, trap him, lap down, anything. I mean, we just need a break, man. We just need a break. Oh, sorry, Benson. Up to third. There we go. Running him down, right? Run him down, run him down. We qualified fourth here, so we didn't get the pole, but we're running down the leaders pretty quickly. So I'm I'm liking that. I want to be out front, man. I want to be out front. Oh, come on, little car. We can do it. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. It's just the car is just cutting less and less every turn, man. I mean, just look at this. It will not turn. Oh, my God, man. 
I'm all over the racetrack and it still won't turn. Like I'm still I'm I'm, I'm running the dirt and it still won't freaking turn, man. Oh my god, man. Yeah, the tires are shot, bro. Those there's no grip left on them. But there's Rusty Wash, uh, his little Miller Lite Ford. Who knows how um, how much he's got left in his Winston Cup career? Because this was his. This could be his final pole. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be back in 06, guys. I really don't know. In real life, he retired in 05. Dale Jarrett, I believe, retired his full time in 05 as well. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Okay, I got on the outside in there. That's the reason why he tagged me. No harm, no foul. No one's pitting yet. We are within our fuel window, I think. I think we could make it from here. But my God, this thing just will not turn. Do we want to pit, man? I think we got to pit with Jarrett and Rusty here, man. I think we got to pit with one of these cats. Come on, we got to get on. We got to. We got to gain on Rusty Wallace here. We got to. If they can just get the car to rotate, that'd be great. Just keep digging uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill, upshift, downshift. Gotta love it. Ooh, a little bit of a run on the two car here. Whoa, on the outside. What? No, don't pass him on the outside. You got two right-handers up here. Pass him up here if you can. There we go. Oh, boy, you can overshoot the corner, and he's going to make a little contact. There we go. We're up to second. That's all that matters. Now, do we want to be the, the the first one on pit road? I don't believe so. But those new tires would certainly help right now. I, I just don't think that's the right call. I think hanging with Dale Jarrett is the right call. Look, Dale Jarrett's really good. I, I want to hang with his car. If he pits, we pit. He's pitting. There's the call. Dale Jarrett down pit road. Oh, my God. Sweet baby Jesus. We barely avoided... Um, the 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 pff, speeding there, so no no damage repair. Look, we're gonna have to risk it. Uh, full tank, full four tires. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to risk it, guys. We I, we were at least like I think we were 69 or 70 miles per hour there, man. I did not realize the scoring loop was so early. Wow. So we're on the first cars down pit road. We're pitting with Dale Jarrett, but I know our car's good. I know we could run the 88 car down. So I'm feeling confident there. But if someone stays out and does a two-tire stop, we're screwed. If anyone t tries <clears throat> any, like, strategy, they stay out, catch a caution, uh, lap the whole field a lap down or something like that, um, tries two tires, who knows? I tell you what, though, I want four good years. Give me four good years. 15.3, amazing pit stop, guys. Y'all blew it at Vegas, but hey, great job. Now, I'm hoping no one tries a crazy strategy and we can try to win this race. Dale Jarrett right now, as far as I'm concerned, he's he's for the race win. I got the Jeff Green joint behind, behind me, but I tell you what, though, if he gives me any trouble, he's going to be a caution. That's all I'm going to say. If I need a caution really badly, I got that 30 car right behind me. I'm not afraid to use them. Oh, sorry, bud. Got a gain on Dale Jarrett here. He's going to slow up big time. That's going to give the door wide open to us. Ooh, little little contact. My bad, my bad. Jarrett, my bad. Now, passing through the S's, I mean, that's almost impossible. I'm, I would not recommend it. I really just heel and toe through here and then get ready for turn 11. Um, of course, if they're really slow, it's easy to pass here, but it's just that corner right here. It's just, oh my god, man. There's just no throttle. It's so flat, you have to let out of the gas, and then pick up the throttle. Um, we gotta let everything shake out, though. Cats are pitting, so. Ooh, don't wanna, don't wanna make too much contact. Just kinda slow them up a little bit. Can we drag race them to the line here? Oh, 55 is gonna slow me up. Aw, oh, great. Thanks, Bobby Hamilton. Oh, now he's going to slow him up. What is this dude? This dude needs to get out of the way. Freaking contact Dale Jarrett trying to move the 55 out of his way. I'm moving the 55 out of my way. Get out of the way, bud. Who knows if Hamilton's going to be back in 06? Who freaking knows? All right, now we're back in business. Can we get around 88 here? Ooh, nope. Just set him up for turn 7. I think this is turn 7. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, Newman, thank you for brake checking him. 
All right, some cats are back down pit road. I'm hoping everything will cycle out quickly and we'll be the race leader because if a caution comes out, well, folks, we're talking about, oh, God, Michael Walter, please don't cost me this race. Please don't. Just just let me go, please. Thank you, Mikey. I appreciate it. Um, made some contact with him at Michael, uh, pff, not in Mike, at Talladega with Michael Walter. Uh, if a caution comes out, the race is pretty much over. So right now, we need this thing to go green flag race racing until the end. That's what I'm hoping for. That way we can let everything cycle out, see how everything goes. All right. Looks like the leaders are on pit road. Oh my god, what the heck happened there? That was weird, like the engine sounds just cut it out for a second. Anyways, we have the race lead here at Sonoma. It's Dale Jarrett and Jeff Burton battling for the second race at Sonoma. Here we are in October. Stock car racing back here in uh, the good old wine country. Top 10 update. Where is good old Mark Martin? Mark Martin is in 12th place right now. Opportunity is here to get the win. I don't know how many laps Jarrett has led. I want to check though real quick. Um, we have led no laps. So the max point stay is out of our reach. Right now, though, we have not led a lap, it's saying, so we need to lead one to get those five bonus points. But the way it's looking like right now, if, 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 if things stays how it is and Mark Martin doesn't go on a tear, he might finish outside of the top ten. If we win this race, that would mean we would gain another 40-ish points on the, the cat in the six car. I mean, that's little gains, but hey, man, everything, everything adds up at the end of the day, man. You need those points. You just want to be there with the opportunity. There's Dale Jarrett really sending it in there, trying to get around me. I'm going to try to hold him off. we got a smoker down on pit road. Who's this unfortunate cat? Oh, my goodness. Kevin Harvick. Bad luck, Chuck. That dude has not won since the summer of 2001. And he's about to enter 2006 without a win heartbreak for Kevin Harvick. Anyways, lap 10 out of 11. Once again, caution would end the race prematurely. Right now, man, we're just digging and cutting through the field. Four tires with the right strategy. Good qualifying effort. Just take care of the race car, man. We need this win. We need this win. This would be win number 11 of the year. Holy cow, man. We need to win this race. We just gotta keep winning, man. That's all we gotta do. Keep the momentum alive. Keep going. Next race is Martinsville. We won Martinsville back in the spring in a crazy finish with Dale Jarrett. And ironically enough, uh, we're going against Jarrett right now. Oh, no, we got another smoker down the, in the S's. Who is this? Oh, that's uh, 101 car. Uh, man, some engine troubles today affecting Kevin Harvick and one of the young guns. So That's unfortunate. That could bring out a yellow within the S's. Dale Jarrett continues to try to dive bomb that corner. I mean, he just breaks so hard in the in the corner. I mean, it's ridiculous how he does not hit the wall. Anyways, final lap here at Sonoma. Dale Jarrett and Jeff Burton going at it for the win. Look, we need to win this race. We need to win it. Got to just, just stay calm. Oh, Jarrett on the outside here trying to get the lead. I want to race him clean, man. I don't want to tear his car up, but I'm willing to do so. I want to race him clean, man. Through the S's. Come on, come on, come on. Downhill. Sharp right hander. Jarrett is just hanging there, man. I mean, he is just he is just waiting for me to screw up at this point. Very sharp right hander here. Now we're going to the S's. He's gonna really have one shot left. If he can get to my back bumper in turn eleven, he's gonna have a shot, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I don't know. His tires might be um already bald already. As we exit the S's, got this very uh, odd dog leg corner here. Uh, looks like a no contest hindering turn 11. It's up to us now. Jeff Burton, his championship hope still alive. Dale Jarrett sends it in the corner. Not going to be enough. South Boston, Virginia's Jeff Burton will win the second race of 2005 at Sonoma. Yes, big win right there. Yes!
We win at Sonoma, man. I mean, we might not have gained much points, but I tell you what, we gained some, and that's all that matters, man. We should be about 280, 285 points behind Mark Martin now. Man, we are just going on a tear in 2005. I mean, just winning and winning and winning and winning, man. Keep it going. Just keep it going, man. Huge win. So Jimmy Johnson won the summer race here at Sonoma. We won the fall race at Sonoma. Wow. I love this track, man. It's a beautiful track. I freaking love it, man. Just, man, what an awesome way to get another win. We won last week at Talladega, and we're going to Martinsville, man. Martinsville is a track that, I tell you what, though, we are freaking good at Martinsville. So I'm, I'm feeling confident about that one. Just keep burning it down, man. Huge win for Roush Racing. Uh, Super Guard Sitko. Jeff Burton. Let's go. Late changes. Here we go, folks, to Victory Lane here in Sonoma, California. The nose just tore up on the car. I'll tell you what, I ain't worried about, though. We did what we had to do to win this race. Look, Jeff Green drove us out of the dirt. We went out there. We, we tore up his race car. We you know, scratched it all up. i tell you what, though. We're in victory lane, and he hasn't won ever. Wow. Huge win for the team, man. Win number 11 of the season. Just got to keep it going, man. Just keep it going. You got to keep digging. Got to keep digging. Wow. What a finish. Me and Dale Jarrett going at it for the win. I just hope I just hope Mark Martin did, didn't get a top 10, man. We gained some points today. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Just some points, man. Just some points. And your top 10. Of course, Mark Martin gets a 7th place finish because why wouldn't he? He's going to come away with 146 points. We're, we're going to come away with uh, 180. So uh, we gain 36 points. Uh, nope. Yeah, 36. Is it? Nope. How many points did we get? If he got 146, we got 180. That would make it uh, 34 points. Darn it. We've got to get more points than that, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss any of the new content, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at DiecastBuffet. Wow, what a crazy day here in Sonoma. Kevin Harvick finishes dead last. Hope you're having a great one, folks. DieCast Buffet signing off.